Y'all not going to guess. This Wednesday on the Dear Future Wifey podcast, we have none other than Derek Jackson. Everybody's favorite right now, by the way. <laughs> Why? We sick and tired of that nigga there. What's up? I'm going to let y'all come into the room real quick. I'm only be here about three to four minutes. Um, Rihanna, start calling out how many people we got on right now. Did you push the button? 13, 115-201. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? 381. Listen, this Wednesday... You know, it's certain people that you get on your podcast that, you know, I've been trying to get this brother on the podcast since 2020. Y'all saw uh, his other half, his previous other half on the podcast uh, a couple of months ago. Who do y'all think? I want y'all drop in there. Who do you think I have on the podcast? It's the, it's the husband of a guest that I had on the podcast. Who do you think? Drop it down there in the comments. I bet y'all, y'all stomp right now, huh? Y'all not going to guess. This Wednesday on the Dear Future Wifey podcast, we have none other than Derek Jackson. Everybody's favorite right now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the fan favorite for sure. <laughs> it's going to be the, the best episode ever. Now, let me tell you something. I asked them the hard questions. Y'all know how when someone sits on this yellow couch, it gets real. And so we talked about everything. Derek, I know you came in, you know, um, with guards up. Yeah. Why? Naturally, I'm a guarded person anyway. Um, and then also, I thought maybe you might have a little smoke for me because the dear future wife thing. But we got that cleared up. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. He thought that, yeah. My boy, Bache, my boy, Bache. He thought I was the one that DM'd him years ago. <laughs> but it was my boy, Bache. Um, but man, it was a it was a great conversation. You didn't take it easy. You didn't tiptoe around nothing. You forced me to talk about some stuff I haven't talked about on any platform. And uh, man, I just hope for the best. Either way it go. It ain't about me at this point, man. I hope somebody gets something of value from it. Listen, I asked him, if you were to name this episode, what would you name it? And this is during the pre-interview. And he said, I would name it Reap What You Sow. And I said, hold on. So you're going to come on the Dear Future Wifey podcast and take accountability? Is that what we're about to do, Derek D. Jackson? Is that what you're about to do, Derek D. Jackson? Is say, listen, I'm going to call this episode Reap What You Sow. That's what we're going to leave with. He said, yeah. I said, Okay. Then I realized at that moment he was at a space in his life where he's saying, oh, no, I, I own my stuff. And I said, all right, when we sit down, we're going to talk. Uh, why did you name it? Reap what you sow. I think that's the only way to really grow. I think when you think you get all these excuses and all of that stuff like that's that's the key to stagnation. Uh, giving yourself a pass for stuff like everybody's imperfect. But when you use that as a way to get away with it or to absolve yourself of responsibility, you don't grow. But when you understand that you reap what you sow, good, bad or ugly, that's whenever you start to grow. And again, that goes for the good, too. So for somebody that's been in a, a situation like me, you know, jacked your whole life all up or at least your personal life or whatever. You got to understand there's there's still you can still sow seed. There's still bags of seeds. Yeah. So it ain't over with if you done messed it all up. But if you messing up, understand your day is coming. Hey, roll us on your wrist, a plain giant.